Hey everybody, Drew in the moment here in my home during this crazy time that we have to just be home. Uh, today I figured I'd do a little something different. Um, I'm a baker by trade, uh, that's what I do. Um, so I figured why not make a baking vlog and today we're going to make some Mickey Mouse Italian bread and we're going to see how that comes out. I've made the bread before just never in the shape of Mickey's head, but we're going to see how that works out. Um, so I'll let you know to start, you need one packet of yeast, which is three quarters of an ounce. We have one cup of warm water between 100 and 105 degrees because you don't want it too hot because it'll kill the yeast. You don't want it too cold because then the yeast won't, uh, it won't work. Um, then we have one tablespoon of white sugar. We have a quarter cup of oil, olive oil. A half a tablespoon, sorry, half a tablespoon of salt. We got some herbs. Um, I'm gonna use probably about two tablespoons. It all depends on what you what you prefer. If you like your bread really herby or not herby. Herby, herby. Um, and then I have a half well, I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic in there. Quarter cup of Parmesan cheese or Romano cheese if you want. Or really any kind of cheese. And then we have three cups of bread flour. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off by activating the yeast, which is going to consist of sugar, warm water, and yeast. And I'll show you what we're going to do next. So. This is the next step here. We're going to add our warm water, one cup of warm water. We are going to add our sugar. And then we are going to add the active yeast. All right, and after we do that, Gonna give it a little stir to get that sugar and the yeast mixed together. Really wanna get that yeast all mixed up. All right, perfect. And now we're gonna wait about five minutes and let some of that bubble up and uh, so we know it's active and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so while we're waiting for the yeast uh, to bubble up, we're gonna do this. This is just using your time wisely. Take the three cups of flour, take our salt, take our Parmesan, Parmesan A, put it in Parmesan D, something like that. Uh, and then take my garlic and like I said I'm going to use two tablespoons of the uh, of the herbs because I really like it herby herby Hancock all right get that going on and now mix it up you really want to mix it good because you don't want um, too much salt I've, had, I, I've, I've messed up before, believe it or not, I know. I messed up and didn't mix it good enough and there was parts of the bread that were really, really salty because I, you know, that was years ago though, when I was just a newbie to baking. All right, there we go. So we're gonna just uh, wait a couple more minutes for the uh, yeast combination and then we will uh, put that yeast into here all right guys so it's been about five minutes and we got some you know little bubbles there it's pretty good usually five minutes is is sufficient uh, sometimes you get more bubbles sometimes you don't uh, but like I said we're gonna mix this right into the flour mixture and I will get you know I usually use a rubber spatula I like to get every bit of that yeast mixture. 
and it smells like yeast, I'll tell you. I love making bread though, it's one of my favorites. So, I'll use the spatula, I do not use the whisk, because it'll get all gum, like gumped up and gum, gummy in the whisk, and it's a pain in the butt trying to get it out. And I don't even know if gumpy's a word, but I'm using it. Hashtag gumpy. Okay, so now that I've mixed it up, it's still a little dry, so the next method, next step is to knead it. I'm gonna use my hands to knead it, and I highly suggest not putting gloves. Yes, your hands are gonna get all sticky and stuff, but if you use gloves, I've done it before, thinking it was gonna be better, it is horrendous. Okay guys, so I've kneaded this dough for about eight to 10 minutes, give or take. You want, you want to have like a nice dough ball like this. Looks all pretty, all mixed up. Now the next step, get a pan. You know, fairly, this one's bigger than the one I mixed in because the bread is going to rise, it's going to expand. So what I do is I took some, already did it, uh, put oil on the inside of this pan and what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your dough ball and get it all over there, just like that, okay? Then you're gonna leave your dough ball in here. You're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap, which I'll show you after I wash my hands. Okay, so I've already washed my hands now. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take some plastic wrap, cover, or you can use a damp, Cloth. They always say that, but I never have a damp cloth in my house. But I always have plastic wrap. So, I use the plastic wrap. So, you just cover up plastic wrap. Or cover up the pan with plastic wrap. Okay? And then you're going to leave this. I leave it on my counter. It's warm enough around here. For an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. And then, um... It should be risen a little bit more, so uh, yeah, I'll show you what happens now. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes, and our bread is about double the size. So now, we're gonna unwrap it all. It always smells so good. I love the smell of, uh, the smell of bread and the yeast. Um, okay, so now with the next step, Take it out, put it on a you know board or something, and almost get bread in my face. You're gonna punch it down. So it's good like that. And now I am going to take about, I'd say a little smaller than uh, a baseball roughly, because we're gonna make the Mickey ears. We'll see, I mean, you can mess around. Might be a little more, a little less, I don't know. Like I said, I've made the bread before, just never in the shape of Mickey. So we take it and pinch, and make kind of a ball again, because we're going to rise it for the second time, but this time, it's gonna be only for about a half an hour. Um, and. I have this, put a little oil on it. And I used to put butter, but sometimes the butter burns the bottom. The oil seems to do, uh, do the trick. So, let me move that over here so you can see it. So we're gonna make some Mickey ears. You know what, I'll put that on the bottom. Let's see how that happens, okay, how that works. And pinch. Pinch just so the bread stays together. That's the objective. So it doesn't crack and come apart. Same with this, you can pinch this, just like so. Try to go under. Kind of like Play-Doh, 
try to mush it together. Well, it looks like Mickey. Just want to make sure it doesn't come apart, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully it stays. So there we have our Mickey bread. So we're going to let this rise, like I said, and you can cover it with a little bit of plastic um, to help the rising process, uh, which I probably will do, um, and about a half an hour, half an hour or so. You just want it to rise again so you have like air in your bread. So uh, let's put the plastic on and uh, wait about a half an hour. Oh, and while you're waiting for your bread to rise, I'm going to turn my oven to 350 degrees. So you might as well do that just to save time while your bread's rising. So, all right, so it's been a half an hour. Bread looks nice and risen. We're gonna see, hopefully, plastic comes off nice and easy. So it's still keeping its Mickey shape. Um, so the oven's all set to go and I'm gonna put it in for about 22 minutes. I usually go under usually what I think. It's about 26 minutes usually when I bake this, but I, I usually go under because you can always add more time. But you can't take time away if you burn it. So in the oven we go. All right, guys, so the moment has come. Time for the bread to come out of the oven. And there she is. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, as we almost lose her. There, get you a better shot of it now. There is the Mickey bread. Looks pretty good. Came out all right. Now let's see how it looks on the inside. I don't normally cut bread when it's hot, but I figure what the heck. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go, see the steam coming off that sucker. And what the heck, I'll, I'll give it a whirl and I'll try a bite of it. See how it is, see if it's terrible. Mmm, delicious as always. I love this bread, I love our bread. But that's gonna do it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Let me know uh, if you want me to do some more baking stuff. This is my first one I've ever done, so hopefully it's helpful. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing all right and staying busy inside. But until we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live in the moment.